Seven disturbing facts about the Koch brothers' relationship with race and civil rights. This is written by Terrell Germain Starr and published over at Alternet. It may have come from another site originally. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll just, I'm just going to go through the, uh, the, the categories. Uh, and you can go over to alternate.com and, or .org rather, and read the rest of these. Uh, number one, the Koch's union-busting efforts hurt African-American mobility. Well, yeah, and not only union busting efforts, but funding people like Scott Walker, who who bust unions. Number two, the Koch Brothers Secret Billionaire Summit hosts known racist. They're talking about Charles Murray, the guy who wrote The Bell Curve or co-authored The Bell Curve, which is a book that uh, it came out some time ago, eight, ten years ago. But it suggested basically that that. Uh, some races are genetically superior, inferior or superior to other races. Right. Uh, Koch-backed organization number three. Koch-backed organization blasts AARP over its opposition to Minnesota voter ID amendment. In other words, uh, when Minnesota put into place voter suppression laws, AARP said, hey, no fair. We represent old people, and old people don't have driver's licenses. At least the old, old people. And so the Koch brothers uh, launched this you know, 60 plus association or funded it. It's a right wing alternative to AARP and said, tear up your AARP cards because they, they don't like voter suppression. Number four, the Koch's fund climate change denial research that hurts poor communities. Uh, there's another interesting piece in today's alternate about how the, uh, how communities, poor communities and communities of color are more likely to not only get lousy wages and live in food deserts, but also have more pollution. Surprise, surprise. Uh, number five, the Koch brothers are against raising the minimum wage. Since uh, the 1990s, they write, or Terrell writes, the Kochs have given at least $23.3 million to think tanks focusing on attacking the minimum wage because they say it creates a culture of dependency. Right. Working for a living, a decent living, creates a culture of dependency. Dependent on a paycheck? I don't know. Uh, number six, David Koch ran on a presidential ticket that called for ending Social Security. I think that that uh, speaks for itself. And number seven, the Koch's father, this is, I mean, the Koch brothers got rich the old-fashioned way. They inherited it, right? And their daddy, Daddy Fred Koch, was an original member of an anti-civil rights organization. In fact, according to the New Yorker, Fred Koch had this to say about communists and African Americans, quote, in a self-published broadside, Koch claimed that the communists have infiltrated both the Democrat and Republican parties. He wrote admiringly of Benito Mussolini's suppression of communists in Italy and disparagingly of the American civil rights movement. And keep in mind, this would have been a generation ago. Fred Koch is dead. But when he was funding the, the John Birch Society and other right-wing groups, it was mostly back in the 50s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Koch wrote... Quote, the colored man looms large in the communist plan to take over America, he warned. Welfare was a secret plot to attract rural blacks to cities where they would foment a vicious race war. In a 1963 speech that prefigures the Tea Party's talk of a secret socialist plot, Daddy Koch, Fred Koch, predicted that communists would, in, quote, infiltrate the highest office of government in the United States until the president is a communist unknown to the rest of us. End quote. And yes, there are, uh, Larry Clayman from Judicial Watch has launched a lawsuit against the federal government requiring the deportation of President Obama back to the country of his birth. Hawaii? Because his birth certificate is fraudulent. Birtherism is alive and well in America, believe it or not. 